All right, so one of the things that I realized here is that I've never really established why you should care so much about mindset. Um, just to give you a little bit of backstory, mm, probably about five years ago, Jan no, exactly January 30th, 2018, was when I decided to change my life physically. Um, for 10 years, I had been an excuse maker. I had been somebody that believed his own lies. I had been somebody that justified everything in life. And um, during that period of time, I realized after the fact that I didn't have a good mindset. My mindset was what was missing because again, I would make excuses and justify pretty much everything. So I had no ownership over anything that I was doing in my life. And the reason that mindset is so important is that it literally transcends every single area of your life. It's going to be the difference maker in whether or not you're successful in a journey, a fitness journey. It's going to be a difference maker on whether or not you're a good parent it's going to be a difference maker in whether or not you raise kids that are productive members of society, um, how good you are as far as a, uh, an employee, a citizen within your community. Mindset is literally everything. And the thing about mindset is that it allows you to get to a fork in the road where maybe you have an easy decision to make over here and a hard decision to make over here. And it's going to allow you to make the decision that is going to usually be the hard decision that is going to drive you to an outcome that you actually want. Um, not necessarily always in the fastest way either. So mindset is the difference maker between, um, I guess, whether or not you win or whether or not you lose in life, quite honestly, and just to be frank. So um, for me, mindset has been, it's come from listening to podcasts. It's come from watching YouTube channels that talk about mindset. It's been by changing the people that I've had around me in my life, people that spoke good things and wanted good things and had a positive energy and people that have quite honestly done the things that I wanted to do. It came from just getting into books, right? And I'm sitting here, I'm getting ready to read some of the books, right? Like a book like this, Power Versus Focus, a book that is going to allow you to cultivate your mindset. Um, I heard a quote one time that said, your life is the sum of the last five books that you read and the people you spend the most, the five people you spend the most time around. And the person you spend the most time around is yourself. So if you're constantly here and you're, you're talking to yourself and you're believing your own lies, which is what I did for about 10 years, that's the person you're, you're with the most. So it makes sense that if you change your mindset, it's going to allow you to tell yourself more truth. It's going to allow yourself to have harder conversations with yourself. It's going to keep you from justifying things that you know just don't align with what you actually want out of life. So the mindset and being able to cultivate a, mind, cultivate a mindset um, is the difference maker if, in where, if you go where you want to go in life or if you just make the excuses and stay where you're at. So um, for me, that has been the biggest game changer in my entire life is being able to cultivate the ability through mindset and through shifting that mindset to make the decisions that are going to ultimately get me down the path. Again, when the fort comes down the road and you have an easy option or a hard option, if you have no mindset, which I did not have for 10 years plus, you're going to always choose the easier path, the most convenient path, and that's rarely ever the path that leads you to anything. So you wanna cultivate this mindset to callous your mind, to be able to understand that I have the confidence and the ability, um, and honestly, does the desire for the challenge to go down the hard paths, because you know when you go down that path, once you have the right mindset, when you, you know that when you get on that path, there's gonna be a bigger and better reward on the opposite end, and it's usually the earned confidence that comes along with it. So. Mindset is huge, and I encourage you to increase your mindset at every opportunity that you can. Challenge the way that your your brain talks to you. If it tells you to do something, stop and think about it. Don't just act out of auto, like being automatic, because you have to understand that your brain, right, the control center of our entire body and our emotions and all these different things, it wants to keep us alive. It wants to allow us to survive, so it's always going to bring us back to comfort. Comfort is pretty much the enemy of progress, so unless you cultivate that mindset, you're literally just going to live an average life. So hopefully this helps and hopefully it's a, a good enough explanation as to why you want to cultivate a positive mindset because it's honestly the answer to everything that you want in life. So uh, if you guys need anything, have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'd be happy to help.